despite how dark the day might look and, and how dark it might look uh, you know, in front of you, keep your heads up and, and anything is possible. I think everything in our lives truly happens for a reason, that there's a purpose to behind you know, why something so terrible um, you know, happened to us, happened to our family. Um, but to be able to turn that negative situation that, that we faced and to be able to learn from those things and, and to find that silver lining to try to turn it into something positive. Kurt was diagnosed with stage one chondrosarcoma at 29 years old, and we had an 18-month-old Ava Grace at the time. Bone cancers in general are really about the second rarest form of any cancers that are out there. So um, unfortunately, you know, it was a very rare form of cancer where there's a lot of research, a lot of funding that goes towards the research of it. Um, and also with the location of, of where my tumors were, uh, just a bad location for the tumors as well, unfortunately. So kind of had the, the double whammy with both of those. Um, you hear the word cancer and you think, oh, you're going to go through chemo and radiation. Um, in our situation, chondrosarcoma is not treatable with chemotherapy or radiation. For him, it meant surgery. So on, on my third surgery that I had, I knew I had three new tumors that, were, uh, that had come back in my pelvis. I remember waking up uh, in the recovery room and just automatically kind of having a feeling that something was off. It was different from my other two surgeries. Um, the doctor didn't come in right away. My family wasn't in there right away. So just sort of a feeling in the pit of my stomach that something was wrong. Dr. Templeton had us called back like an hour, hour and a half into a surgery, into a waiting room. She used the word hemipelvectomy. And I said, well, what's a hemipelvectomy? And she said, amputation of his left side pelvis and the leg. I was really excited when she said, amputation of the left side pelvis. I wanted that part gone, but when she said leg, the world stopped. Uh, you know, we both kind of broke down. It was a you know, pretty shocking moment, obviously, to, to have that kind of conversation, but uh, also in a sense, it was, it was almost a sense of relief, uh, really, at that point in time, after um, going through, you know, 18 months of scans and surgeries and constantly having that fear in the back of your mind. As a spouse, though, it was just hard because you have to watch someone you love very much go through something you would never ever anticipate or imagine just excruciating changes all the way around. We've had things where we, um, you know, emotionally have been really tested and tried and fell flat on our faces at points. And then there's times where we really are celebrating life, you know, so, but isn't that anybody? I mean, we all go through, uh, through moments and times in life that are hard. You know, as a father, I think that's, that's something hard to see when, when I have other friends that are also fathers. You know, that's still something that's, you know, challenging as well. But for me, that was also something that, that motivated me, that I don't want her life to be any different and, and have her think of her, her daddy any differently. Uh, this is just how he is, but uh, that I would be able to do all those things, be able to provide all those things that uh, any ordinary father with, with two legs would be able to provide. So uh, I can still dance with her and play sports with her and run around and, and do everything else. Uh, I just do it a little bit differently than everybody else. My supervisor actually uh, approached me uh, and said, hey, you know, I've, I've got this idea. Uh, it's kind of a crazy idea, but do you think you're able to hike a 14,000 foot peak in Colorado? And I, I think I thought about it for about, you know, two seconds. I said, heck yeah, you know, let's do it. So for me, I never wanted to have anyone tell me that I, I couldn't do something now because I only had one leg. Uh, I wanted to show people that I could do just as much and actually do more things with one leg than I you know, ever did with two legs. And, and I've been able to do that between you know, the climb and, and running and triathlons and, and, and cycling and, and all these things that I really challenged myself, not, not only physically as it challenged me, but, uh, but mentally as well. And I think it's made me a, a stronger person. I feel like I was given a second lease on life and unfortunately not everyone gets that opportunity to, to have that second chance and so I really feel like I want to take the biggest opportunity you know, uh, you know, of that that I can and, and really make the most out of it um, because I'm here for a reason. You know, I don't think yeah. I would have gone through that many surgeries and faced the challenges that we faced 
uh, if there wasn't a reason, you know, for that to happen. It really registered for us that we're living life now. We're not living life as we check things off a list. Life is pretty darn amazing and it's beautiful. And we get an opportunity every day to show up and be a part of it. I mean, God invites us to be a part of this beautiful life every day. So I, I feel like going through this as hard as it's been, it's given us such a gift, such a, a zest for life and wanting to be a part of it.